Around the world, people are now devoting their lives to saving some of the most threatened sea creatures. As here in the Caribbean. Every year, on just a few islands, a remarkable event takes place. As the sun sets, giant reptiles begin to emerge. This magnificent creature preparing, whoops, <laughs> preparing to lay her eggs is the largest of all turtles, a leatherback. They can grow up to half a ton in weight, and they have an ancestry that goes back a hundred million years to the age of the dinosaur. But in recent times, their numbers have fallen catastrophically. Here, however, in the Caribbean, there is hope. Leatherback turtles leave the sea in order to lay their eggs in the dry sand. But out of water, these huge creatures are easy targets for hunters. In a small fishing village in Trinidad, Len Peters has experienced this firsthand. I grew up in a household where the presence of turtle meat was normal. The fridge was always full of it. Everybody, everybody harvested turtles, including my parents. It's only when I became exposed to things that were being published about leather basil on the verge of extinction and, and nobody cares, that piqued my interest. Len took the leatherback's future into his own hands. He began patrolling the beach at night to protect the turtles. A brave thing to do. We were met with tremendous resistance. People would pelt us at night. I have had persons um, insult me, um, I had person curse me, I had person physically try to, to, to wrestle me, I get a machete. So it was really a hostile time back then. If Len was going to save these turtles, he needed to win over the whole community. We had to find a way to get the villagers to benefit from the presence of these animals. He began to encourage tourists to visit the beach and train some villagers to be their guides. To help secure the turtles' future, he took the message to the next generation. Now, what's, what's the largest size a leatherback can grow to? Uh, Shani. 2,000 pounds. And that's correct. Leatherbacks can grow to 2,000 pounds. Well, that's a big turtle. Len's hard work paid off, and now attitudes have changed. Just want to touch base on some of the things you want to accomplish tonight. It took us a while to reach out to the villagers, but gradually we got them involved as well. We got some of the poachers who would be hunting the animals to be part of the conservation program. As well as protecting the adult turtles, the team also collect any eggs that might be flooded at high tide. If the eggs are laid too close to the sea, we relocate the eggs and rebury them. Thanks to the efforts of this community, these turtles have had an extraordinary change in fortune. This is now thought to be one of the densest leatherback nesting beaches in the world. When we started at the height of the nesting season, the numbers will be 30, 40 turtles a night. Now it's over 500. So we have seen an increase from 40 turtles to 500 turtles a night in just around 20 years. Precious new hatchlings are also given a helping hand. 
Any that emerge during the day are collected to be released safely back to the sea, away from hungry birds. <laughs> This little leatherback will have to face a thousand hazards before it returns as an adult to this beach where it hatched. And those dangers will be greatly increased because of damage that we have done to the oceans. Good luck, little leatherback.